Peace and greetings to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, otherwise known as Dr. O, the PA Pro. I'm here with a pre-PA student, um, Mr. Calvin Tindai Pegas. So I'm going to interview him and he can enlighten us about um, uh, a lot of the, the challenges and um, what it takes to be a pre-PA student. Hello, sir. So I'll let you introduce yourself. And thank you. Yes, again, my name is Calvin Tenai Pegas. I am from Georgia, um, and I appreciate you um, inviting me out uh, to be a part of your show. Thank you. Thank you. So, what what attracted you to the uh, the PA profession? Uh, so, uh, with my uh, search to figure out what the next steps were uh, in my life, um, I would know that I wanted to uh, get into the medical field. Mm -hmm. um, as a kid, um, I always wanted to be a doctor. Um, and so I kind of, uh, with life experiences, uh, that kind of deterred a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew that I still want to be instrumental in the medical field. And so I was trying to find out what other professions uh, were out there outside of nursing, um, that, because my mom was a nurse. Okay. Um, and so uh, just scrolling around on the internet, um, I put in simply like how to become a PA mm -hmm. and your YouTube video popped out and I was like okay this is cool and so I went to your channel mm -hmm. and I saw that you had so many videos um, that were instructional and educational about the PA program and so as I read for myself I was like oh my god this is exactly what I want to do this is the field that I want to go into and so um, I have to thank you for oh, um, enlightening me <laughs> on that yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so um, is that when you first heard of the physician assistant? Honestly, that was the first time I heard of the physician assistant. Okay. Um, and it's funny because even when I talk to my friends about it, mm -hmm. they don't even really know what PA stands yeah. for. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it was my first uh, introduction um, into the world of PA, um, and which is actually a blessing. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah very good. Okay. <laughs> that, that makes you feel good. <laughs> like, like I'm utilizing my time well. Okay, um, what, are you, what are you doing now as you prepare for a pre-PA? Yeah, so I'm currently enrolled um, at Morehouse School of Medicine, um, obtaining my master's in public health. Mm -hmm. My plan is, uh, once I'm done with that, to apply to PA school. Um, my degree is a general public health degree, okay. and so uh, my focus is uh, definitely around like chronic illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, and what I've been doing for the summer, which is how we were able to meet, uh, I was here in D.C. On, uh, with the fellowship program, um, via the CDC, mm -hmm. um, and I was working on a project uh, about expanding a digital uh, engagement with black populations around mm -hmm. HIV, AIDS, mm -hmm. um, health prevention, and so forth. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm doing mm -hmm. right now. Right. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So I, I, I talked to you guys in some of my earlier videos about um, having other degrees in conjunction with uh, the physician assistant degree. It's very valuable because you'll be able to do research and there's a trend toward physician assistants actually publishing and, and doing um, a community health right. kind of um, activities. Right. Right, so what, what, what kind of classes are you taking now? Um, hard classes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm taking an intro to public health, okay. um, biostats, mm -hmm. um, uh, epidemiology, mm -hmm. Um, and actually I'm taking those three classes, but they span from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. So uh, with a break, of course, for lunch, but it kind of takes up uh, my day. Okay. Um, outside of that, I try to kind of just keep myself integrated in terms of like public health work. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm, once I'm done with this project, um, I've applied to a couple of other fellowships in okay. Atlanta to kind of uh, build my uh, resume mm -hmm. in terms of research. That's so, fantastic. That's good stuff. What, what do you... Um, what schools are you looking at? Uh, uh, so right now, um, uh, I w and we've talked about this, so primarily my ultimate goal is to be the face um, in undeserved communities. Mm -hmm. um, I know that um, a lot of times we don't have a lot of black visible representation mm -hmm. in the medical field. Yeah. Um, and so I, kinda, I do want to stay in the South. Um, so I've been looking at Emory because um, okay. they see them, they have a pretty good program. Mm -hmm. um, my ultimate school would be Yale, okay. um, just because they do provide a lot of other certifications that you can add to your PA mm -hmm. degree, mm -hmm. or as we uh, physician associate degree. Yeah. Um, and so um, those are kind of the two schools that's on my radar right now. Um, but you know, with life, I'm open. Yeah. Um, someone yeah. passes yeah. money along my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we, and we talked about, I think, for. People like us sometimes the, the money is a big factor. Is. Like just yeah. paying for um, tuition. Yes. I mean, Expensive. it's well, we're here. We're not too far from George Washington University, and they've got one of the top schools in the country. Yeah. But it's, it's expensive. you're going to come out like two hundred thousand dollars in yes. debt. Yes. You know, by the time you, you finish the PA program there. So you know, I'm hoping 
I've got some videos on um, on how to pay for, for PA schools. I'm going to do another more in-depth one. So, you know, so hopefully people like yourself can don't have to worry about how you're going to pay for PA school and even have that be a dissuader for you. Correct. Yeah, but I, I thank you so much for your yeah. for your time. For those of you all who have any questions about becoming a physician assistant or any other occupation in the healthcare field, or have questions about um, fitness or, or medicine or education, please um, leave your questions in the comment section. Uh, thank you all. Right. Thank you yeah, so much for your time. Thank you. Peace.